how's it going? Just did a bit of an update on the chicken waterer. I thought I'd do an aquaponic one while I'm down here as well. I really wanted to wait until I had something um, exciting to show you. I'm putting in a bit of a top-up system for the aquaponics, an automated one, or roughly automated, and also a um, move around of the beds, which still hasn't happened yet. But good news on that front, I'm picking up the K1 Biomedia, hopefully on New Year's Day. So I'll be able to make a proper start on that and also the RAS system, uh, the recirculating aquaponic aquaculture system. Haven't made much of a start on that either. But anyway, for now, I'll give you a bit of a look at the aquaponics and how she's traveling at the moment. Fish are very happy as always. Um, they're getting a nice little bit of size to them. Don't want to go in too close or I will spook them. They probably think they're going to get a feed if I stand here long enough. So they mellowed out a lot more. I found during winter they were very skiddy. But now the water temp's warmed up a bit and they're feeding a lot better. As you can see, they're rather large, rather fat. Um, yeah, they're, they're a little bit more friendly and not so skiddy. Uh, one of the biggest changes we've had to the aquaponics is this little thing here. It's a um, sweet potato vine that's turned into an Audrey. It's even growing into the power box down there. Uh, it's pretty much well taken over the whole aquaponics area. Uh, it's growing from a little section in the grow bed just over there, and I'll show you around the back here. It's come around this side of the fish tank. It's growing all the way down there. That's the venturi you can hear. All the way down there. I actually whipper snipped it. It was um, growing up this tree, so I whipper snipped it the other day. So it's in the neighbor's yard, all down the bottom there, and all the way down to the chicken yard. So this sweet potato loves aqua aquaponics it really gets off on it so we're still even growing over here into the other bed now um not too worried about it we've been chomping on the greens there's a few holes in the grow bed so i'm pretty much all using the sweet potato to use up the excess nitrates uh, still got strawberries on too he's going to come off as soon as i press stop um so yeah I, i'm rather happy to have him in there it's a bit like the kangkong just using up nutrients for the time being and also the warrigal greens We've been hoeing into this Kangkong and also the Warrigal, Warrigal Greens continuously. So, yeah, we have been harvesting quite a lot of food out of this system. Uh, a couple of surprise things like this water chestnut. I mustn't have harvested all the corms from last year. So we've got a few that have popped up in amongst here. Also still having problems with rodents. Catch probably one every second week now, so it's not as bad as it was. But yeah, so I'm rather happy with the way the system's going. Strawberry is also sending down runners all along the ground there, some down beside the bed. I think I noticed one while I was mucking around down here. There's one down here in the ground somewhere. Oh, there he is there. I've squished him. A little strawberry coming out down here. So, really do need to pay a little bit of attention to the system, I think. But like I said, we are going to be moving it around. So, what's going to happen is... The two beds are going to still be coming, uh, running along this way, creating a bit of an L shape with the grow beds. Um, still not too sure whether I'll keep the media in them or go floating raft. Um, I've been chatting to TC Lynx on Backyard Aquaponics site and she's been um, giving me a few ideas, so that's been great. Uh, thank you very much, TC. Uh, so hopefully I'll sort it all out. I really don't want to do a half assed job um, this time, to tell you the truth. I really want to do it properly so I don't have to come back in six months time and regret what I've done, so hence why I'm taking my time. But anyway, look at this Kangkong. That's rather impressive. I've given a fair bit of this away, both as salad greens and also as plants. I still have my poor old beetroots in there. We've got two left. These Warrigal greens, they've been going phenomenally well in here. I'm uh, really happy I put them in there. It was just a little feral, uh, shot up all by itself or a volunteer and it's done really, really well. So we've harvested that for a load of uh, spinach and egg quiches or pies it's growing all the way through here the strawberries in here and grasshoppers are doing really well nice little fat grasshopper i did chop back the lavender i don't know if you remember the lavender was all over this corner what had happened was this inlet over here had clogged up so the water wasn't flowing through the bed dried out and just the massive greenery on the lavender it just started to wilt so i Chopped it right back and we got little bits of it coming through again so the plant did survive. Rather happy about that. More Warrigal Greens out this side. The eggplant that was in here, um, not too yeah, happy with those eggplants to tell you the truth. 
Uh, not the nicest ones, They're pretty flavourless we found, so I know eggplant doesn't have the most stunning of flavours, but we've got a white eggplant in the patch and an undumplet, so I think I might be pulling this plant out. I won't try and save it when we do the move around. The pepino, he's put on a whole heap of more growth after he got snipped back, and he's starting to flower again, so we'll get some more pepinos in a couple of months. Over here, the parsley. Parsley went to seed, so I chopped back a lot of the growth that was taking over the bed. So, just Mr. Grasshopper. <laughs> so yeah, I just chopped it back so I just have a few um, seed heads and it meant I could open it up to plant out some salad greens. The ones in the direct sunlight here, even though it's under shade, aren't doing too well. That one there's doing all right. And there's another one um, there. Oh, he's not looking too crash hot. But there's a cos lettuce. Um, I think it's known by something Romaine, I think, overseas. Um, it's doing all right down there. The celery. This celery has been one of the success stories. We've been picking this plant for months. Oh, there's actually three plants in there. One's fallen out um, and the other two are going. So I'm really disappointed I didn't get some more celery going in time. It's a little bit too hot at the moment, but as soon as the weather cools down a bit towards the end of summer, a load more celery will be going into the aquaponics. It just did so well. What else? Um, oh, I had a bit of a, just excuse the cobwebs. Um, had a bit of a dig around in here the other day. This is the sweet potato. And as you can see, we've got the start of a tater there. So, while they may not be the largest potatoes, I think we might end up with one or maybe two little sweet potatoes out of this. But anyway, I was told I couldn't do it, so I thought I'd have a shot, and obviously it's working really well. Um, we've got loads of greens out of it. And actually, yesterday, oh, there he is there. He's grown again. Yesterday I found this guy. This is a hawk moth caterpillar or a um, hornworm. And what these guys do is they grow up to be a hawk moth and they pollinate pawpaw or papaya. They're pretty much well, one of the only pollinators so I read on the government website of um, papaya. So I'm more than happy to let this little fella have, you know, a good chump on these sweet potato greens so he'll, you know, flap off, fly off and pollinate our papaya at a later date. But yeah. Just to show you this sweet potato, it has gone crazy. A little bit was growing through into the water in the fish tank, but they weren't too happy about it. None of them fed on it. Hey fishies. So, yeah, the Venturi is going all right. Rather happy with that. I do think though, um, I might have mentioned before the biofilter. When I put the biofilter in here, the moving bed biofilter, I'll actually be hooking up the air compressor again. So I might pull that Venturi out. Just wait and see. So, because I want the air compressor to bubble and boil the um, biofilter, because it's such a large air compressor, uh, I'm, I need to bleed off some of the air, so it'll be going into the sump tank there, and also to um, into the RAS system, I think. We'll just wait and see. The radio flow filter's going great. Doing its job. It's collecting muck down the bottom there. I'm actually siphoning it out now. The little tap arrangement down the bottom is too much effort. You pretty much all need to drain nearly all the water out of here to get the solids out. So I just shove this down the bottom, little 13 mil or half inch irrigation line. Give the other end a bit of a um, suck and create a siphon. And just go around the bottom here and just clean out all the muck. So yeah, it's a lot, a lot better than wasting a whole 50 litres of water here. So um, I suppose that's pretty much all it. Um, so there you go, there's a bit of an update on the aquaponics. Um, not a lot going on, but I know I say that, but I really don't see the changes like you guys see from clip to clip. Um, I'm down here every day, a couple of times a day, having a gander, so I don't really see the changes. Um, fish, haven't had any fish. I haven't taken any fish out for quite a while, so Bianca's on two weeks holiday now with the Christmas break. Woohoo! So we'll probably pull a couple of fish and have them on the barbie with uh, some friends. Hopefully next time I do an update clip, the beds will be changed around. There'll be an automatic top up for the um, system. And yeah, a couple of filters thrown in and progress made on the RAS system. So, so I suppose that's pretty much all it. Uh, leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. And other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas uh, or holiday break if you're lucky enough to get one, however you celebrate. And we'll catch you in the New Year's. Unless I can find something else to film. Sweet. Catch ya. It's time to feed the kids, so I thought I'd bring you along. They're getting about two of those lids every day now.
Don't really want to get the camera too close because they're going to end up splashing it at some point. There you go. Doesn't take long to knock off a lid full of food. Have a good one.